Previously, we've gone over the mechanisms that make a chiller work, but now it's time to discuss some of the most common applications for renting a chiller. Let's look at some reasons why you would rent a chiller in the first place, and then at why you would choose a chiller over a direct expansion air conditioner. There are nearly endless scenarios where a temporary cooling solution would be appropriate, but a few are among the most common. One scenario is supplemental cooling, whether a facility's cooling system can't handle seasonal extremes or a change from an industrial process requires extra cooled water, a temporary solution is often the most frugal choice to supplement new cooling needs. Where a permanent upgrade would require significant commitment, renting offers results without draining the budget. Another common reason to rent is avoiding a construction delay. Often in these circumstances, a new building or expansion is nearly ready to open, but the delayed arrival of the building's permanent chiller is preventing that from happening. Rather than wasting time that could be spent on business operations, rental cooling is often utilized to open a new building on time while the permanent unit is on its way. Lastly, some business owners occasionally face a challenge that is more like a nightmare for their operations, an emergency equipment failure. Whether caused by a natural disaster or some failed component, these shutdowns need to be addressed immediately to minimize a business's losses. To make matters worse, sometimes the part needed to fix a broken chiller won't be available for weeks. When maintaining continuous business operations is of the utmost importance, Renting a cooling solution is often the fastest way to restore a business's cooling. Those are just a few reasons among many to rent a cooling solution, but one question still remains. Why rent a chiller over a direct expansion air conditioner? As it turns out, sometimes the choice is obvious, and at other times, the proof is simply in the numbers. The simplest reason to rent a chiller over a DX air conditioner is compatibility with the building's permanent cooling system. If an integrated cooling system is already in place and everything but the chiller is still functional, then tying in a rental chiller is an easy and economical solution compared to a traditional AC unit. Or if a manufacturing process specifically requires cooled water, then a rental air conditioner would do little to help. Sometimes, Space will determine if a chiller is appropriate. For instance, if a solution must take up as little space as possible, then chillers are often the best option. A chiller with a specific cooling capacity tends to take up much less space than an equally rated DX air conditioner. Additionally, a chiller's 6-inch water hoses are much smaller than a 20-inch ducts often used for AC units. When external factors don't make a rental chiller the clear choice, the bottom line often does. For solutions that require at least 150 tons of cooling, renting a chiller and a pair of air handlers is usually cheaper than renting an equally rated DX air conditioner. In the same way that chillers are more efficient for larger cooling systems, rental chillers are often more cost effective for larger cooling jobs. In an imperfect world, there will always be imperfect circumstances. When these circumstances relate to cooling systems, it's best to know how rental cooling solutions and rental chillers specifically can make life easier for everyone involved.